Hey guys, it's Bailey from Making Up the Midwest, and this is going to be a quick review of Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector Spotlights. It's a trio of her famous Shimmering Skin Perfector. You get three shades inside, and this retails for $25 for the three. While these did recently come out, I don't think they're limited edition and will go away with the holidays. I think they're here to stay, so I'm also going to include a comparison to see how these stack up against the other similar highlighter products within the Becca line. So first I want to start with the trio. As I said, you get three shades for $25. You get opal, pearl, and champagne gold. You can see that they come in this little stick form here, and there's a doe foot applicator. I have a demo of me applying champagne gold in particular. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now, but you can also see the other two, how they look on the cheeks as well. The difference in between the three is super subtle. I would say the most drastic difference between the three is between the gold and the other two shimmers. I thought the other two looked very similar when worn on each cheek, but there's a definite difference between the gold. However, you'll absolutely get some good out of each of these if you are a highlight lover. So these are a creamy sort of liquid consistency. They do have that doe foot applicator so you can pat it right on. I was wearing a cream foundation set with a powder and it didn't disturb anything that was underneath. In addition to when I applied that, I was wearing powder, bronzer, and blush as well. So you can see in the demo it didn't disturb anything underneath. This is a fantastic formula that you can layer over pretty much anything. I use it on my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose. You can use it on your eyes, your brow bone. These are beautiful highlighters. The shimmer is so fine that it really creates this lit from within ethereal glow. And at $25 for the three shades, I think it's a fantastic way to sample what is one of the most popular products from the Becca line. A lot of you probably know that there is a larger size of these available. There's actually a size right in between these two as well. This is the full size. It retails for $42. It's as big as the Becca foundation, I believe. It is a whole lot of highlighter that I definitely don't think you need unless you're using it all over your body or routinely blending it in with your foundation to get an all over dewy effect. This is just a huge size. So there are five shades total available in this size and then two probably the most popular. This is one of them. The shade Opal is available in a smaller travel size for $19. So there is an in-between size for select shades but this is a huge contrast. These are identical products, so the formulas are exactly the same. There really is no comparison in terms of that beyond the fact that the size is drastically different, but also you get a pump here. This is also the same pump on their foundation, so you do get quite a bit of product out here. It's a little harder to regulate than when you have something like a doe foot that you can apply directly and blend out super easily. You really have to use this a little more carefully. It's hard to use as sparingly, which is okay because you obviously get a ton. Then there are the powder highlights, which are also pretty well known, especially here on YouTube. They come in a really beautiful, sturdy packaging like this, and these retail for $38 individually. This shade that I'm holding right now is opal. They do have the exact same shade if you prefer the powder format. There really is no difference. I don't find in between the way each of these lay. Each of these have the same consistency, especially when it comes to how finely the shimmer is milled. They both look very, they lay very seamlessly on the skin, absolutely beautiful. The contrast or the difference that I really wanted to point out is actually in a limited edition shade. The Champagne Gold Liquid Highlight. First off, there isn't actually a liquid highlight Champagne Gold in the permanent collection. However, there is a limited edition Champagne Gold pow Powder. You can see it has kind of a different texture here. It's exclusive and limited edition for the holidays. And I definitely notice a difference between the way each of these lay. I love the way this gold blends, the liquid gold blends into my skin. This has a little bit of a different consistency. It's super easy to overdo it. And so you get not only kind of a heavier, more opaque finish, but it also um, comes off as kind of chalky. So of the two, I tend to prefer the liquid version of this and it is exclusively available in this trio. So just an FYI, if you are eyeing this powder, I tend to prefer the liquid over the powder. That can vary across lots of different people though. So that's all from me. I hope this review and comparison was useful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. If you like this video, don't forget to check out some of the others I have. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.